Hey there guys, my name is Marquez and in this video I will guide you how you can easily use Contentful. Contentful is an amazing CMS software that you can use to uh, manage and publish content on any dig digital channel and in this video I will show step by step how you can use it. So what you want to do is just click here sign up for free. Here you can sign with the Gmail or GitHub and then or just simply fill this out. So I'm going to fill it out and I will add like company, email address, and then also job title, job function, and password. So we're going to fill, fill this out here, and then click sign up. So in the moment when you're going to have it, you're just going to continue. And then here we are, welcome to Contentful you would accept all here and one last thing what project we will primarily use content for so let's say i'm going with work Opa, sorry work do you already have a contact to manage no or you could choose like how familiar you are and start with the content for and now we're going to continue so here we are so what we can use and how we can uh, use it. It's really important. Create structure with content module. Start by designing a custom structure for your content. The structure is like scheme which allows your editors to generate repeatable pieces of content and you can always find that you can take a training here for the beyond the basics invite teammates right here if you want. So here, when you click on the invite uh, teammates, you can invite users to your organization. You can choose an organization role if it's a member, developer, admin, owner. You can add to spaces. If we're going to have spaces and teams, uh, I'm going to show you how we can do this, okay? Because on the top, we can see the users, teams, and everything. So I will go back here. And to, to, back, to get back to the organization, because I want to show this first, you need to go to top left and click here, organization settings and subscriptions when you're going to click on it here you would be able to add team members uh, the users you can invite them and find the spaces and usages and everything so here i'm going to top left again click here and click on the space that we have the blank one here you can also create a new space let's say for uh, something else there so i will click here content module and here I can simply click design a content model. Content model is a collection of different types of content for a project. And you can see it right here. And then you would click design your content model. When we are here, we can create the first type of content. It's a block of fields in Contentful, we call it content type. It can be as small as an article offer with name and surname fields, or it big as a web page with a headline, hero, image, body, and many other fields. Then click create a content type. Here I would add a name. Let's say it's going to be offer, right? And you can add also description if you want to about uh, the content. Then you would click create here. And then click add a field. So we have the, uh, the offer as content model. And then we can simply add, let's say, a text here. So name, author, and you can have short text, short text, exit search, or long text, right? And then I can click create. And right now you see we're going to have like a new field here. Then I can simply add a new field. And you can simply add a date and times, location, media, number, or reference. So I can have reference here and it can be like, let's say blog post. And we're going to have the select a source, same space, select a type, one reference or many references, and then create. And you can like always configure it. So I'm going to show you how you can also fig uh, configure it. So confirm. And now when I'm going to click, let's say on name author, I can click on settings and here we can configure it. So this field represents the entry title. Enable localization of this field. Then you can have also validation here. 
so required field so someone needs to uh, like if it's empty you won't be able to publish it if it's unique limit character count match specific pattern prohibit a specific pattern accept only specific values so you can do that also and then you need to have like predefined what needs to like have default value so this would be the default value or appearance appearance so choose how this field should be displayed if it's a url a drop down a radio or a slack again this is really important to have so if you want to have as a single line let's say a name or a drop down or radio now i'll click confirm here let's say because i want to have a single line and you always see the preview here and then I can simply add a new field here and let's say I'm going to add a media so I can like picture of author this is just like making this up and then I can change the field type or just create here and then when we have it I can simply click on top right and click save you can find all the entry editors the sidebar here And then I can click save on the top right. Okay, and we're gonna have the content type uh, is saved successfully. Then when we have the content model right now, I can duplicate it, I can edit it all. So that's what you can do. And you're always gonna find like the JSON preview and then I can simply press on the content and I can add an entry right and as you can see we see right here blog post and picture of offer right and this is what we did so right now we have the content module and right now we have the content and we're gonna have the editor here. So as a name of the offer, blog post, and you can always do that. And then also the picture. And then you're gonna have also option to have a tax here. And when you're gonna have it on the right side, you can preview it and simply click and publish it. Okay. You can always edit the entry here. So, and now we're gonna have it published. So in the content you see uh, that we're gonna have the status published right now. So for the content for. So I can click on it and find it right here. And you can change the status if it's unpublished archive or set schedule. Now, of course, you can have versions here, or comments to it. And then you can have also the media next to the content and you can simply add an asset, right? So let's say that I can upload uh, again based on the content model that we have. And you can create whatever content model you want. I recommend like uh, reading some stuff from Contentful, what they added. And then you can have also the applications uh, that you can add to your Contentful and install, let's say, a Volvo BigCommerce, Dropbox, Frontify, Google Analytics. All of that you can do. So that's pretty much it. This was like introduction to Contentful and how we can use it. If you can have any questions, guys, ask me down below in comments. And that's pretty much it. So thank you very much and have a great day and goodbye. See ya.